The combination of nivolumab and ipilimumab is the first um, regulatory approved combination uh, in immunotherapy of, of any kind and um, it's approved specifically for patients who have advanced melanoma. Um, the components of this therapy were individually approved in past years, so ipilimumab by itself uh, can be effective um, in a certain number of patients with advanced melanoma. It provides um, by itself a 20% long-term survival uh, benefit. Uh, nivolumab by itself can be effective um, either as the first treatment or later treatment that a patient with melanoma might receive and there the overall survival benefit is greater. Uh, it's more at the 30% uh, percent, uh, or 35% percent level. Uh, and so uh, the intriguing question is what happens if you combine these two drugs um, that are in the same class because they both target target immune checkpoints in cancer, but they work by different mechanisms. And so, um, you know, laboratory evidence showed that they could be complementary and have a synergistic Im impact if used together. Um, what we saw today were, were long-term results of a randomized trial um, where patients who had never been treated before for their advanced melanoma received either ipilimumab alone, nivolumab alone, or the drug combination. This was a very large trial, almost a thousand patients, a global trial. Um, and um, one definite uh, uh, result from this trial is that either NEVO alone or the combination therapy uh, has a much greater impact than ipilimumab, which was the older uh, therapy, uh, if, if, if used by itself. So we saw that in terms of response rates and also in terms of overall survival uh, with, with uh, years of follow-up now. Um, and another question that's really on everybody's minds is the comparison between nivolumab by itself and the combination with ipilimumab. And there, uh, unfortunately, this study uh, was not designed or powered to look directly at that combination. So any of the comparisons that we saw today were descriptive comparisons and, and not um, you know, supported by statistical analysis. Um, nevertheless, it, it looked as if there might be subgroups of patients where the benefit of the combination um, you know, was more uh, uh, apparent. Uh, and we uh, talked about that uh, in terms of uh, perhaps uh, patients with BRAF mutant melanomas um, might uh, benefit more from the combination than from nivolumab alone. Um, and the role of PDL1 expression, the PDL1 biomarker, um, tantalizing uh, but not, uh, not definitive um, in this study. Uh, and all of that needs to be balanced against um, the safety profile of the combination versus the um, monotherapies, uh, where uh, it, it's clear that the combination uh, does have an increased re risk of side effects uh, and a higher proportion of serious side effects with a greater number of patients having to stop the treatment because of um, side effects. And so, uh, as with every, every other area of oncology, we're always thinking about risk and benefit and um, uh, in, I think what, what you heard from Dr. Larkin is that it, it really boils down to um, thinking about each patient individually and what their uh, medical profile is and what would be the right approach for them.